Welcome back to the Army Painter Tutorial Center for Army Painting Development, I guess. Today we have both Thomas and Stefan from the studio to showcase four incredibly simple ways to paint an army using the full range of the Army Painter products. It's true that army painting is in our DNA, so today we'll show you how to paint a model in a traditional layered method, a speed painted method, one utilizing an airbrush, and of course the Army Painter Spray Paint Dip Done method. We'll be painting an ever popular space marine for this test and to add a layer of difficulty we'll paint yellow that is a traditionally difficult color to paint we'll showcase how easy it can be with our products we'll begin with the more traditional method with our marine primed in color primer ash gray we'll just apply a base coat of warpaint's fanatic demigod flames over the entirety of the model the new fanatic formula offers insane coverage even with difficult colors like yellow so you can achieve one coat with ease but for the smoothest coverage go ahead and apply a second thin coat for the speed painting method we'll apply a simple thick coat of speed paint ancient honey as our base coat the speed paint range is optimized to offer a base coat shadow and slight highlight on the raised areas in one go we'll rely on our matte black air primer before jumping into the yellow war paints air triad for the airbrush method Apply a base coat of Warpaint's Air Incursion Orange. This is a nice orange shade yellow and is the perfect baseline for a more vibrant yellow color scheme. We'll then apply a mid-tone highlight of Demonic Yellow. Apply this in a Zenithal fashion from the top down to replicate the light hitting it from above. And then apply a tighter, more refined highlight of Warpaint's Air Imp Yellow. The Warpaint's Air range are truly airbrush ready and do not require any additional thinning and the triad system is intuitive and easy to use when it comes to creating Zenithal layers. This next step is completely optional, but using speed paint through an airbrush is a simple way to tone down your work, add transparent glazes, and post shadows like Thomas is doing here with Sand Golem. Sand Golem is a strong yellowish brown, and it gives the brighter yellow base work a more earthy finish. We'll then apply a satin varnish through the airbrush to seal everything in and unify the finish. Finally, for our spray paint dip done method, we'll rely on our demonic yellow color primer spray to do most of the hard work for us. It is a primer and base coat in one. So we'll dip right into applying a wash of Fanatic Light Tone all over the surface of the miniature to enhance the shadow and details. Here you can see all four methods in unison. The next step in our traditional method will be applying a wash of Fanatic Orange Tone over our base coat. Make sure you cover the entire model and allow the deeper pigments to run into the recesses. The wash does have a longer drying time, so you have time to ensure the pigment isn't pulling too much in the areas that you don't want it to. Just simply wick it away before it settles. Once it has had time to dry, we'll touch up our base tone of Demigod Flames as the wash will darken the model down a bit. This will help to reestablish the more vibrant base coat. Be as neat as you can here and leave the wash unpainted in the recesses and details of the miniature. Next, we'll show you a few different options for painting the Imperialis or Aquila or Chest Eagle or the Sternum Bird, depending on what you like to call it. This is a great opportunity to use speed paint as a one coat solution or base coat. You can leave it as is or apply highlights later, as you'll see. You can see in the speed paint method, Stefan left the Imperialis white and is applying a black purplish red in murder scene as opposed to the brighter and more vibrant slaughter and blood reds. You can also use this color as the base for your purity seals if your model has them. Next up, we'll begin blocking in all of the trim and uh, paint in the joints on the model. This time we're using speed paint grim black. Be as neat as you can here. If you do make any mistakes, you can always clean it up with an application of the yellow used on the armor. In the case of speed paint, you'll have to apply a base tone and reestablish your speed paint on that area. So please be as careful as you can. When it comes to army painting, one simple tip is to also limit your color palette or utilize one color to do more than one thing. For example, we use grim black for the joints and trim and also as a base color for leather, casing, metal, etc. The trim of the pauldrons is another great example of how to maximize your color selections. We'll repeat this on all four methods we're showcasing today. Next, we'll paint all of our metal bits starting with Speed Paint Broadsword Silver. You can also use another metallic from the Speed Paint range and Fanatic range like Speed Paint Enchanted Steel, Polished Silver, or the more traditional gun metal or plate mail metal. We'll move on to painting the lenses, first with the base coat of Fanatic White. A simple white line usually does the trick here. Then apply a healthy dose of Warpaint's Fanatic Data System Glow. 
These new glow effects feature powerful fluorescent pigments, and they're set in a unique wash-like base, making glow effects super simple. Alternatively, speed paints work swimmingly thanks to their coverage and pooling properties. Shamrock Green works exceptionally well over the yellow base coat here. Remember, army painting is all about maximizing your time and effort. Speed paint is a great, fast way to add color to your basing. We recommend using the large monster brush to save time with large loads of color. And there are many ways that you can approach all of the other small details, like an application of a light colored acrylic, like Fanatic Bony Spikes with a wash or speed paint over top is great. And in some cases, you can just apply a speed paint right over your base color if it's light enough. You can see here that Thomas applied Bony Matter speed paint over the yellow base coat and is simply adding a highlight of skeleton bone. You can't even tell that he began with yellow here. Stefan, on the other hand, is applying a base coat of Bony Spikes from the Fanatic range, followed by speed paint palette bone. Proof that there are many ways to get the job done, which is pretty much the theme for today's tutorial. Highlights are not always required for army painting, but adding a few can take your tabletop ready army to a higher standard with minimal effort. The increased coverage of the Fanatic formula makes edge highlighting much easier and more controllable thanks to its increased pigmentation. We're using demonic yellow here for some simple highlights on the traditionally painted armor. A good tip is to only highlight the upper areas and most pronounced areas that your eyes see easily to get the most from your time investment. You can see the same technique applied to the speed painted marine it really adds to the overall detail and contrast to the miniature. In addition, you can use Fanatic Angelic Red to highlight some of the red details on the model for extra punch. And Night Sky is a great choice when highlighting black thanks to its bluish undertones. Use Mithril to pick out any of the metallic details as well. Shining Silver works really great too as seen on the airbrush method model here. For the airbrush mini we'll follow suit this time with Demigod Flames on the yellow armor and Legendary Red on the Imperialis. We're utilizing Deep Grey here for the black edge highlight which works just fine. Here's another take for the model's insignias to use rough iron as a base coat and then a simple highlight of Fanatic Red Copper. To level up your purity seals, you can add a quick highlight. We're using Warpaint's Fanatic Scarlet Red on the Airbrush Method model. For our Spray Paint Dip Done model, we'll use Speed Paint Polish Silver for the metals with a wash of Fanatic Dark Tone over top. All that's left is to paint the rim of your base, apply your preferred Battlefield's Tufts, and your mini or unit or regiment or army is done. The Army Painter was founded with the goal to make painting your gray hordes of unpainted plastic easier, faster, and more fun. With color primers, speed paints, war paint air, and the new Fanatic range, we hope we've proved that there's more than one way to paint an army. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out our full range of products, including the new War Paints Fanatic, which will be available in stores real soon. To learn more about this exciting range and the rest of our easy to use products, be sure to look for them at your friendly local game store, preferred online retailer, or at www.thearmypainter.com.